Britain will be leading the way to uphold the law of the sea as the world's second strongest naval power after the United States, Daniel Hannan has said. The former MEP turned Tory peer, who is also a special advisor to the government on trade, made the comments as HMS Defender sparked a clash with Russian forces on Wednesday. The Type 45 destroyer traveled through waters south of the Crimea Peninsula, which Russia unofficially annexed from Ukraine in 2014, in a move which was not recognized by international powers. Moscow responded by having several aircraft shadowing the ship at varying heights, the lowest being approximately 500 feet, which Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said was neither safe nor professional. As HMS Defender passed Crimea, Russia claimed that warning shots were fired by their vessels at the destroyer. But this assertion was dismissed by the UK government which said only that a routine gunnery exercise took place. Moscow has threatened to retaliate if the incident is repeated, while Boris Johnson insisted the warship was entirely right to make the trip from Odessa in Ukraine to Georgia as an internationally recognized transit route. Whether it is sending HMS Defender to Crimea or HMS Queen Elizabeth to the South China Sea, we need to be prepared to follow through. Regular and repeated voyages signal strength. A one-off journey signals weakness. Restoring a presence in distant oceans represents a return to our traditional blue water vocation. It is true, of course, that we are no longer the blue water power we once were. But let's not lose our sense of perspective. When it comes to the ability to project naval force, we are second only to the United States. Former Royal Navy Chief Admiral Lord West expressed a similar position to Mr. Hannon and accused Russian President Vladimir Putin of playing to the home audience. The former First Sea Lord told LBC, the bottom line is Putin is an expert at disinformation and his actions are very reckless, and we've seen that now for three or four years. The latest flare-up comes amid months of tension between Moscow and the West following a build-up earlier this year of Russian forces on the border with Ukraine. The Kremlin which annexed Crimea in 2014, has been riled by the movement of NATO warships in the Black Sea seen as offering support to Ukraine. 